So you've always wanted to know how to get a gorgeous character like this and take it over to Blender and rig it the very same way you rig in Mixamo. Now if this is something that you've always wanted to do and you have literally no technical knowledge about rigging, this video is definitely one that you should stick around for. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at an amazing must-have add-on if you're into rigging or you're considering rigging a character sometime in the future. And this add-on is known as Auto Rig Pro and you can literally use this to rig anything possible from winged characters to bipeds to quadrupeds. This is just like the one-stop solution for you. So with this said, we're going to dive directly into Blender where you would see how you can get things up and running. And if you've downloaded this add-on, all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference, you know, do the whole installation thing. And then once you press N on your keyboard, you would see it here as ARP, which is the Auto Rig Pro. Now we're going to get a character which we're going to use. And this character is from the character Creator 3. So we're going to grab this character and bring that directly into Blender and rig this character right there. With this character ready to go, I'm going to simply go over to the section called Auto Rig Smart, click on Get Selected Object, and this is going to position your object in an orthographic view so that you can start placing points. Now we're going to start placing these points all the way from the neck to the chin to the shoulders and then all the way to the wrist and all that stuff. So with the markers properly positioned, all we need to do is click on Go and the Auto Rig Pro is going to simply take a look at the model and align the joints properly. And you can see right here that we have a very clean and properly aligned joint. So with this here, we can now simply click on Match to Rig, which is going to automatically go through and create control rigs for us. So these control rigs are IK and FK based, so you can simply select them right now, press R on your keyboard and start moving them. But we need to bind this character for us to be able to animate. So all you need to do is simply switch from the pose mode over to the object mode, use the marquee selection and select both the character and also the rig, go all the way to skin and then you would notice we have different forms of binding. Now the split bind simply binds object based on loose parts so if you have things like clothes stuff like that you would have to bind one over the next but it is less accurate for smaller details and stuff like that and then we also have the use chain and finally we have the voxelize so we're going to go with the voxelize and then you can play with whatever resolution you want and click on bind now this is going to be a much more easy and faster process and then it is simply going to read this character for us now with the character ready to go we can now go over and switch to the pose mode click right here press R on your keyboard and really easy you can see how quick we now have this ready to go so you can now animate this however you choose and if there are parts where you want to paint weight you can simply go through switch back to object mode select the main object itself and then go over to your weight painting go over to the section where you have the vertex group and then you can select and paint weight setting up the facial rig is also extremely simple let's go in there and re-import this character one more time scale it down and do all of the same process that we did the only thing which we're not going to do at this point is hit on go just before go you would notice that we have the face rig set up now this is the point where we have to set up the face before we actually hit on the go button but before we do that, it is also worth knowing that you need to separate the piece for the face that you wouldn't want to get rigged. So things like the eye, we have to separate that. If you would like to separate the teeth as well, it is also something that is worth advising that you should do. So just before we continue with the face setup, let's go ahead and, you know, separate the eyes. So for this one, I'm going to press tab, select one particular part, select another one, hit Ctrl and L just to make sure that you have everything selected. And then I'm going to right click go all the way down to where we have separate and let's separate this by selection so once you do that you'll notice that the both eyes are now separate i'm going to simply press tab on the keyboard and we are back to you know object mode so next thing which i need to do is select the face setup one more time and at this point if i just press tab on the keyboard i will jump back into the edit mode select any of the given points press l on the keyboard to select everything and press G to position. So once we have this ready, we just simply need to position these where they are supposed to be placed. Where they're supposed to be placed. So the mouth goes to where the mouth should be. You can also go through, fix the nose, fix the ear, and also 
things like the eyebrow and so on so once all of this is done you would now be required to get or you know select the eyeball so this is the point where you simply press tab on the keyboard select the eyeball and then click on the eyedropper button now once you do that automatically it's going to select this as the eyeball so once you have that ready to go you can now click on go and the auto rig pro would analyze the entire model all of the pointers that you've created and it's going to create a joint based facial rig and also a full body rig for you so now you can see what we have so with this here we can now simply go back and click on match to rig which is going to create the rig controllers and you can see we have rig controllers for both the eye the mouth you know the jaw the ear and all that stuff so at any point in time if you're not comfortable with a certain part you can use all of the tools sets right here to edit and also make changes and if you're okay with what you have you can now go through and switch over to skin and from this skin section just like we did previously i'm going to go ahead and select all of the parts so let's jump over to object mode select all of the parts and with that i'm going to click on bind and it's going to go through and bind the entire thing probably asking what about picker does this tool have a picker a character picker yes it does have a character picker so once you download this it comes with a very tiny python script you can install that python script and from there if you go over to the auto rig panel you can access that within the miscellaneous you can choose to update the amateur clean the scene set the character's name if you choose and then you can click on add picker once you click on add picker you don't see anything all you need to do is click on set picker camera and then you will be able to see this so it's going to create a very small section set a camera for you and you know create that picker it's not left for you to split your scene however you want and then you can have the character picker on one hand and on the other hand you can have the character you can make modification to the color themes and how you want to play with it and obviously because you have a character picker right now you can select on any part of the character picker and then you can simply control that within the viewport and this is just very intuitive and very useful so if you're excited about creating characters and you know you don't want to go all through those technicalities you know create joints bind joints do all of that stuff the auto read pro is right here and i think it just makes sense that there's a tool like this if you have technical issues or maybe there's something that you just don't know how to fix there is a help file that you can refer to at any given time while working with this amazing tool and it's just pretty insane to see that we have a tool like this that works that exists for blender of course you can see within the marketplace there is all five star and it is available for blender 2.9 amazing stuff we have here if you want to get the character creator link is going to be in the description you want to get this lovely tool you can simply follow the link in the description and grab this so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace